Hi everybody, Charles here. Welcome to Backroads Living. Today, we want to discuss some foods that everybody needs in their pantry. These foods are, well, for a better lack of a description, forever foods. Hopefully these foods should outlast any of us who are alive right now. They have a tremendous long shelf life and everybody needs to have these in their pantry. So hang in there and we'll get right on to them. If you enjoy our videos, we would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel. Uh, if you like our video and share us on your uh, social media, when you subscribe to the channel, there'll be a bell icon that will appear. And if you'll click that bell, then you'll be notified of our next uploads that we do. The first item we're gonna talk about on our forever foods for your survivor pantry is distilled white vinegar. Distilled white vinegar has acetic acid in it, and it typically contains anywhere between 5 to 20 percent by volume and is mostly used as a cooking ingredient or in pickling. The mainstays of the category include white distilled vinegar, cider vinegar, wine vinegar, and malt vinegar. There are others such as balsamic, rice, raspberry, pineapple, chardonnay, flavored and seasoned vinegars, and there's just lots of vinegars out there. But vinegar is a wonderful item to have in your pantry because it has a, what we would call a forever shelf life, or hopefully forever meaning longer than we live because we need to have stuff to outlive us in our pantry. But now over time, vinegar can lose some of its acidity, even being stored. Um, the vinegar will absorb the water from the air, diluting its concentration of acetic acid. And over time, the acetic acid will break down or decompose, leaving behind a less acidic product. So we need to keep that in mind when using distilled vinegar. Um, it's, like I said earlier, it's great for uh, marinade sauces and dressings and um, for uh, pickling and things like that but you want to use fresh vinegar be sure it's it's a fresh vinegar to do that you don't want to get something that's been on the shelf for years um, if you're going to do cleaning those older vinegar bottles are great for cleaning you can use it in your laundry as a fabric softener uh, it's good for just killing germs just like bleach would I've heard of people that uh, put uh, distilled white vinegar in their uh, toilet tanks. Uh, we've used it to, uh, to clean our microwave. There's just a lots and lots of uses for distilled white vinegar. And we have some of that on our website. And I'll try to think to leave a link in the comment section below or in our description below uh, where we have uh, some uses for distilled white vinegar. A Colorado State University publication at one time said that you could heat distilled white vinegar if it was at least 5% acidity, and if you heated it at least to 150 degrees Fahrenheit, that it was as effective to kill E. coli and salmonella as bleach was. So that's something to keep in mind. It's a very powerful agent, cleaning agent. Um, it's a wonderful thing to have in, in your pantry. You can also use distilled white vinegar as a fruit and vegetable wash. Use about two tablespoons of vinegar to a pint of water and uh, it will take a lot of that right off your fruits and vegetables and clean them really clean before you use them. It'll also remove lime stains from bathroom faucets. You can remove uh, spots and all kinds of stuff from your, uh, from your bathroom and tile. And to keep this stuff at its top peak efficiency, you need to keep it stored in a dark place that's cool, of course, with the lid on tight. The second item on the list is cornstarch. 
And now cornstarch is made from the starch and corn kernels. It's traditionally been used for a thickener for sauces and gravies in the kitchen, but it has a lot more uses, including cleaning and medicinal uses also. Cornstarch can be used to help cool off a sunburn. You can make a simple paste of cornstarch and water, spread it over the sunburn, and it soothes the inflamed skin. And if you want to ramp up or speed up the, the soothing process, you can use aloe vera to make your paste with. And it, uh, it really is supposed to ramp up the soothing process when you do that. It'll help uh, prevent chafing. If you have sensitive skin and a tendency to chafe, simply dust a little cornstarch on your problem areas before you get dressed for the day. Um, people have also used cornstarch to stop squeaky floors that have uh, hardwood flooring. You can literally sprinkle the cornstarch over the floor, sweep it into the cracks, uh, wipe up the excess, and the real fine particles in the cornstarch will get down in those cracks and it will help seal them up so your floor doesn't squeak so bad. And grease. Cornstarch will absorb grease. Sprinkle over a greasy spot, um, let it set for about 20 minutes before you clean it and it will uh, absorb the grease. It will freshen carpets like that. Just vacuum up any excess powder away once you're done. It's a wonderful uh, window cleaner. It's super fine to the touch. It's naturally abrasive. Uh, you can add a teaspoon or a tablespoon of cornstarch to your favorite window cleaner and make cleaning easier and leave it a streak-free shine. Cornstarch, not just for cooking. Cornstarch can go bad, but it will only happen in very specific circumstances. So if you're willing to make sure it's stored properly, it will be perfectly fine for years. If the powder gets wet though, it'll go bad. It's important to store cornstarch in a cold, dry place. If cornstarch cannot absorb water, it will stay good indefinitely. The next item on our list is distilled liquor. Distilled liquor is also not only useful, but can be stored forever. It also has the added benefit of being a bartering tool which comes in handy in the event of a social collapse. If you think about that just for a second, many foods that you can accumulate can be used for bartering tools. Not only foods, but many things out here that you can accumulate uh, when you're out at yard sales, flea markets, and places like that. Keep that in mind uh, when you're looking at these things and you find stuff that's just very inexpensive as far as tools are concerned. You might want to pick them up because... Um, if a person had a, a you know, a, a collapse of society, um, those kind of things would come in very handy for trading uh, for things that you need. The base liquors, such as brandy, gin, rum, tequila, vodka, and whiskey are typically the most stable distilled uh, liquors because they do not contain any sugar. The more sugar a liquor has, the faster it will deteriorate. Bottles of these base liquors can be stored for a very long time, opened. Although they may lose some flavor during that time, they will keep indefinitely if they remain unopened. When it comes to prepping, it's always important to keep in mind your trading and bartering power. Distilled liquors can definitely give you an edge when it comes to bartering. Other than perhaps ammunition, there may not be a better item to store to ensure you've got something others will want than some extra liquor. Whiskey is a great option to store for bartering while vodka can be used as in first aid. That's another thing you need to keep in mind is first aid. Liquor can be used not only as a way of keeping wounds free from infection, but for keeping nausea at bay and for making dental work more bearable for the patient. Any liquor above 60% can be used as surgical alcohol, and anything above 40% can be used to disinfect wounds for first aid purposes, not to mention medicinal tinctures and I heard someone say the other day if it was 120 proof you could use moonshine to uh, eliminate a toothache that you could put some moonshine on a tooth uh, that's hurting you and it would relieve that tooth for several hours so that's another thing to keep in mind if you're in an area where you can get your hands on some of that 
The fourth thing on the list, before I go into the fourth thing on the list, I will back up here just a little bit and say don't forget, if you enjoy our videos, to subscribe to our channel, like our video, share our videos with your friends, and be sure that when you subscribe to the channel and that little bell icon appears, ring that bell and you'll be notified of our new videos when we upload them. So now, the fourth item on the list is bullion. Bullion cubes, actually, and they contain enough salt to preserve them from spoilage. But to flavor, and that's why you buy them, is for the flavor, it can weaken and dull and change over the years. But the bottom line is that they will last forever if they remain stored in a cool, dry place. Bullion cubes are used to add flavor to foods and can be invaluable in your prepper supply. Since they contain a high salt content, they will basically preserve themselves. And last, but certainly not least, on the list is maple syrup. Maple syrup will also last forever if the bottle remains unopened and is kept in the cold. If you open the maple syrup, it can get moldy and is incredibly unpleasant to eat at that point. It will only last about a year after you crack open the bottle, so keep that in mind. Once you open the syrup, you need to plan to use it because about a year's shelf life is all you're going to get out of it then. But you can preserve it after that. You can put it in your freezer. Even after it's opened, you can put it in your freezer. It'll retain its flavor and keep indefinitely stay it. And the great thing about it is it's not going to freeze into ice. It's not going to become solid. So you can take it out again and use it as you need to. So those are the five things that we wanted to talk about today that were uh, very long to indefinite shelf uh, life items for your pantry. And again, if you've enjoyed our video, be sure to subscribe to our channel, like our video, share it with your friends, and click that bell icon to be notified of future videos when we upload them. Thank you again, and God bless you all, and we wish you all a great day.